fuck is that? Seems to have worked. Are you working on the truck? Yeah. Let me free this from my ghetto rig stand here. Show you guys what we're working with now. Plenty of room. I got a comment that I need better lighting. I do agree with that. I can't agree anymore. But my man cave is limited to lighting. So the sump. Let me see here. Bolts. Hey, you guys like my uh, tripod? Oh yeah, this is gonna work perfect. Cherry. Uh, let me get you guys set up. All right, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I hope you can see it just as good as I can. So to the comment that I need to work on my lighting, I feel you, man. I'm uh, filming with my GoPro. I'm not sure if GoPro makes a light for their cameras. But if so, I will look into it. Obviously got my ghetto rig tripod and my ghetto rig light set up, trying to help you guys out. So you can see exactly what's going on out here. Digging through the bag they sent me. Getting my uh, bolts and trying to get my out of here 
little washers with rubber seals. So the tank is actually facing the exact same way that it would be in the truck. Started, so now I'm going to rotate it because I need my lines facing this way. So let me see here. I've actually been debating on which way to face my lines. The tank is facing the same way it will be when it's mounted, which will actually be right in front of my face. But if I run the lines out this way, So it looks like it's going to have to actually face this way. What up YouTube, this is part four of the Studebaker build. I just want to thank all the subscribers for subscribing, everybody who's watching. So I hit a roadblock while doing the fuel tank. I actually removed the fuel tank at my dad's house a long time ago before the cab was even mounted. And I feel like a dummy. I drilled the tank, I installed the sump and I was gonna go ahead and put the tank back, but I don't have my jack here, it's at my dad's house, and I can't jack up the frame to get the tank back under the truck. So the tank is actually sitting here, and I haven't exactly picked the location on the sump lines, so I haven't tightened it all the way down. We did drill the tank, I did get it on. I actually got my AN fittings that I've been waiting for that go to my fuel rail. They finally came in, they're already on. 
me and my nephew Carlos, we actually did my first hand fitting, which I'm sure is his first hand fitting, given the fact that I'm 27 and he's 12. And we got him on. Plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do it without scarring up your fitting, but of course, rushing, I didn't care, I'm not going to order up some aluminum wrenches. This one actually came on way cleaner, but this was the first one, it's kind of weird. I did two ends because I already got it measured out on where I need to cut it, but a couple years back they broke into my dad's house, they stole my Dremel, so I actually don't have a Dremel, I need to get a Dremel so I can cut that line clean so I don't mess up the nylon braided line and uh, as soon as I get my Dremel I don't know within the next day or so I will cut the line I will run the return line first because I don't got to cut it for the pump and the filter so I will run the return line first and that's actually what I got taped off I screwed it on I ran it down I ran it through the frame through the little hook I want to run it to down here and all the way back and I taped it right in the middle that's where the sump's gonna sit but it might even be too long I might need to trim it again on this end before I put the AN fitting and go straight to the sump for the return line and then I need to mount my pump and my filter in my frame still I'll make a video on that keep all you guys updated Again, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button. I know my garage is a mess. Oh yeah, and as you guys seen, this is a eBay Cheese Bay. Comes with my eBay Cheese Bay fuel sump kit. And this thing just like broke straight out the middle, kind of ghetto. Now I can't even pull it off. It's stuck now. Oh, uh, it's coming. Well, you've seen it on the video. You guys will see it on the video. It fell right off. So I had to actually put another drill bit on the tip to mark the center. Came back. Put that one back in just as a guide. So it could kind of guide me straight in. And then just went for the kill shot. And it's my first kill stump, but I'm confident it'll work as soon as I tighten it up. And I'm pretty sure that's the direction the lines are going to have to be facing. But we'll find out before I mount it all the way up. Be sure it seals up good. It's going to be fun.